there, YouTube, and welcome to Monday, December the 28th. <laughs> it is quarter to noon. Oh, there's Kai Kai. Quarter to noon at the moment, and uh, it's just now made it to 34 degrees. It has all the frost and everything has finally gone away. This is the way it's looked. All kind of fogged in and very Pacific Northwest winter looking out here. But I was going to put the rotors on the ridge line right quick and realize I don't have an impact screwdriver here at the house. I don't know if I should attempt to get that because there's uh, like set screws on the rotors once you get the wheel off. And uh, without an impact screwdriver, you usually can't get them things out. What the heck? Well, the one rotor that wasn't causing a problem has been replaced. Did it right here in the garage. I'm probably just going to back the thing in and... <laughs> Kelly goes, don't film me. So anyway, that one's on. And, uh, yeah, let's turn this thing around. I wore enough stuff to stay warm while I was out in the 30 degree weather. And, um, ended up doing it in here and I'm sweating hind end in this shop. Where I'm where I'm wearing. All right, let's, uh, let's dig out Rotor number two here and do the one side that actually has the problem. There we are. This is the one that that had the issue. Nice shiny new. There's the one that that did the wumpa wumpa. <laughs> All right, not much to it. Actually, just takes just a few moments to get that thing on, and the the screw, the set screw, alignment screw, whatever you want to call it, thing come out of there like no problem. No tools required other than a a good quality Phillips. All right, let me get the wheel on. Look how cool that light looks back there. Look at that in them hills. You can see it's tried to turn blue. We actually even had the sun pop out a couple of times. It was just for a few minutes. But uh, yeah, it's still, I don't know, 40 degrees. Even if it cleared up now, by the time I got all my gear on and stuff, I, it would be too late to go for a ride. But I guess it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So we'll see. But I'm gonna go all the way out the, the freeway and GCs and put gas in this thing. That'll be more than enough to uh, warm everything up, get the tranny warm. I think I'm gonna do the tranny and the rear diff, the dual pump oil. Hey, look at that. There's the sun trying to come out right there. But anyway. <laughs> neighbor driving by me vlogging but uh anyway that'll be more than enough to get everything warmed up to bring it in and and do the tranny and the and the rear diff poor old cedar mill all those times coming by and enjoying the sweet sweet smells of the old cedar mill are gone there's not even remnants of a smell out there now Look at this. Come down here in the old Serengeti, she's getting some sunshine. That ain't even right. Head west a little bit and I break out in the sun. Usually you head west and you, that's where you find the rain. <laughs> so that right front rotor was, uh, was very noticeable, especially at speed, like you're going down the freeway and everything checks up all of a sudden. That's where you'd feel it pulse. Kelly and I are going, you know, we get into a snow and ice event and uh, them pulsing brakes are gonna be bad news or that right front pulsing is gonna be bad news. So, I mean, not noticeable anywhere else. It's just at speed. Um, no, it's funny how you get used to things. It was the <laughs> first time I hit the brakes at any kind of speed, I'm like, wait a minute. That thing's been that noticeable. It is just crystal smooth. It's weird that, yeah, it's only on the top end that you feel the 
you feel the pulse from that rotor, you know? I think it got bad enough you're feeling it way more, you just got used to it. Man, this is messed up. Get down here by the freeway and it's nice. I'm moving west, I'm getting out of Toledo. <laughs> oh, the brakes are really nice though. I'm enjoying that. All right, let's fill up the beast. Man, look at this. GC's a super light again. That's nuts. Maybe we take just a little bit of a drive here. The tranny's hot enough, I've gone far enough already. But uh, if I can't ride a motorcycle, let's just drive a car. I never go driving down here in a in a vehicle. It's always on motorcycles. That's beautiful, the that sun about to go behind them mountains back there. That's the power line hills that way. Let's do it on the bicycle. Holy moly. That's a bummer. It's just beautiful and dry and just wonderful down here. Some fog clouds start to kick in back that way, but oh, oh. Mount Rainier sitting right there. We'll see if we can get a shot of her. I think them trees over here. I think that might have been my one shot. I always point it out when I'm riding through here, but you guys can never see here. We'll fix that here in a minute if I can. Them leaves on those trees in this corner got long enough that when you bank into that turn and slap, slap, the leaves would hit you in the face. That was fun. Ain't no leaves left now. Gotta wait till spring. Here's my little corner. I won't. I won't park against traffic today on the road. Our little rock shelf is gone. Oh, is that her right there? Let's see, yeah, let's see if we can grab her right quick here. Hang tight. Oh, look at the dog. And the seagull was like checking the dog out there for a second. That's cool, you're a good looking old boy. Some old dude in a Toyota Tundra there airing up a tire. You heard the little 12 volt compressor. So I don't know, it doesn't look like they're done because there's so much stuff underneath and then there's some kind of a roof thing on there. They probably just uh, gave up for the, for the winter. Isn't that sad, all them trees are gone there. And all the trees that were right in there are gone too. But I understand they had to clear stuff for their their work. All their machinery's gone. I was kind of hoping they'd sandblast that concrete, make that look a little less creepy looking. <laughs> Bye, last of the sunshine. She's gonna slip behind them mountains here in a minute and they'll be, that'll be it for sure. Definitely opened it up down here. Still got scaffolding. Hear that thing freaking and cracking and carrying on? That's the definition of rickety right there. <laughs> Dr. Pierce, she's grabbing the last little bit of the evening sun. You go on, girl. That looks good. Not much question. Made it back up the hill in my area, huh? It's all, <laughs> it's all doomy and gloomy up here. Oh, get this thing back to the house. Do a tranny oil change and filter as well. And, uh, might do the dual but the engine oil is about 10 percent. i wasn't going to change it anyway but i don't have the filter tag coming oh well well that took a whole lot longer than i thought ended up uh i'm not sure i think that's the fill i think that's the drain and that might be the fill for the for the dual pump thing there i have the two quarts for that. The 
they call it dual pump oil. But that's the uh, transmission filter. That was way more of a pain in the butt to replace. Not the actual filter, but getting all the the front under paneling in this thing that you got to get out to uh out of the way I, I felt like i was working on a bmw there's like 15 different clips and <laughs> in reality there's two three four it's like five different type screws and plastic clips a combination of what a pain in the butt. <laughs> now my neck's going to be sore. You know how you crawl underneath the car and you you lift your head? You try not to, but you do anyway. Oh, I meant to put that Mustang seat. The, I moved it out of the way because I didn't think the truck would clear it, but it does. So I was wondering this the other day. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, when the We've had a couple of power outages, and it looked like it was on. It just... It caught my eye when I came out here that the BMW, the uh, Optimate 4 CAN bus, is charging on this thing. You know, that it's active. You know, like they're in just a standby. It's doing something. The DR's in a standby. Hello there, gal. That sure was nice taking you for a ride yesterday, I gotta say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you know what? I put the siren for my um, street glide in this thing, and it has never worked. Never. And if you look up, I thought, okay, well, that's 2017 versus uh, 2020. Maybe something's different. So I looked up the siren for the um, for the alarm. I looked it up for the um, 2020. It's the same part number is what I had. So there's some tests. There's a nine volt rechargeable battery that's inside the the siren, and uh, it it's taking a charge. It is charged. Don't know. It just it was working when I took it out, and it's never worked again. I, I gave up trying on it. Uh, I was just thinking when I went by, I kind of I bumped it a little bit, and man. Remember that street glide? You set that thing off and just wipe you out inside here. That thing's so ear piercingly loud. I hate to spend another hundred bucks or 160, whatever it was, for another one. And I just wonder is it something on the bike? Is there something different? But the part number is the same. That's for another thing. So I didn't do the dual pump thing. I spent too long messing with that. Then my neck was sore from doing the wrong thing and lifting my head i don't remember that thing having such a big washer on the dual pump i know this one's for the engine and uh, i'll get an oil filter and stuff for that like i said when i was we're on the little car vlog thing there um the oil's still 10 percent before it reaches its uh time but something else kicked up so the I forget, I'll look at the list of things that need to be done. It's it's due for a service. And I think the light comes on when the oil gets to 10% anyway. Because it's just saying service due. It's not doing the countdown thing yet. So we're good. Anyway, there's, I don't know where I've done with the, oh, last quart sitting over there. Take it for a good drive and, and top, every, top the tranny off tomorrow or whenever. She's got the correct amount in it at the moment. But uh, anyway, that's it. Sorry for a kind of a car vlog thing today. But that's what it was. That's how the day went. Day in the life. I was hoping for a clearing. I've been kind of jonesing about my my soft or my yeah my soft tail slim here lately. I haven't taken her for a ride in a bit. Talking about motorcycles crying in the garage. The old soft tail's going, dude, I'm on. I'm tired of sitting in here. <laughs> All right, we'll get with the little mom there. We'll do a quick goodbye. Well, hello there, you two. I just walked upstairs and grabbed the little woman. I can't believe I'm not sitting out here with a coat. Yeah, because you're crazy because yeah, it's very cold. This plaid shirt, pretty 
Might as well just skip the washer and just throw this one in the fire. <laughs> I wrestled around on the ground, everything else. Yeah, you were rolling around. <laughs> like I smell like garage floor and automatic transmission fluid. Uh, <laughs> nah, you always smell good to me. Yeah. But I got her done now. A little extra. I haven't changed the filters. Oddly enough, it's not even in the schedule to change that filter. And it seems like I looked for a filter once before and there wasn't one. But uh, there's one there. It's weird. It's an external transmission filter. Never never seen anything like that before. Crazy. All the automatic cars, you know, got some of those things. You got to move suspension stuff out of the way and drop the pan and, you know, to gain access to the transmission filter inside the transmission pan. I like how they took the Honda, the bridge line's not that way, but they took the uh, um, drain on the ones with the pans away to force you to take it off and take the whole pan off and do the do the filter in there. But yeah, if you haven't put two and two together, I don't think I mentioned it, we're taking this week off, the Christmas to New Year's week off. Yes. And um, we'll get to the that mail call thing. I know, it we are talking about so it tonight, I'm just like, ah, you know, I'm all scummy. She goes, I don't feel, I'm just, we're not into sitting in front of the camera that long. <laughs> <laughs> but that, my, my neck is sore from wrestling around underneath yeah, that car. Yeah, it's going to be even sore tomorrow. Yeah. It's funny how you do that. You know better. I mean, how many times you work on a car and done that, you do it anyway. But uh, anyway, I think on that, we're just going to slip on out. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. Boy, that moon over. I got to show you a clip. I didn't take a picture of it. It should have a clip over the moon next to Mount Rainier. Oh, I bet that's pretty. Wow, that was cool. All right. We'll All see right. you guys tomorrow. We will see you then. Well, all right. Thanks for watching now. Yes. Bye-bye.